hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you guys a tutorial on this um, fun colorful and summery look so just keep on watching guys oh lord of his mercy hey his body baby oh. hey his body baby oh. First thing I'm going to use this concealer to kind of color correct my eyelids before placing on any eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to use this really light orange shade from Stilazi to kind of start building up on the transition color. It's really really light for my complexion and it makes the eyeshadow blending really easy. So I'm going in with this orange shade. I'm just trying to get a nice mix of transition colors before placing on the lid color. Dipping that up, I'll be going in with this red shade from Sugar Pure and I'll be placing that into the outer um, V and into the crease. And I'll also be blending that right into the transition color. And I'm just using a blending brush from Delium Tools to blend everything together. For the lead color, I'll be using an orangey shade from the Luban Beauty eyeshadow palette. And I'm just pasting that right, 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 right onto the lid. Next, I'm using the red shade I used earlier to just blend it in. And I'm just blending, blending, blending. Next, I'm using the Zaron HD liner to line my eyelid. I'm not going to do the wing now. I'm just creating a base for the eyelash so that um, the space between the eyelash and the eyelid is dark enough. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll be popping on the skin flash foaming in Miss Fab. I'm going to move on to the face and I'll be using the um, Melanie Mills highlighter first all over my face. I'm going in with my foundation and I'm stippling in with the Zaron stipple um, foundation brush which is the bomb.com it's really good if you want full coverage i'm also going to blend that right into the neck area I'm going to use the Nuban Beauty the Beauty Blender to just kind of blend everything into my hairlines and let the foundation really sink into my skin. Next, I'm going to cover up and highlight at the same time with the MAC Concealer. This is an NW45. Um, and I'm just using a tiny precision brush from the Real Techniques Core Collection so that I can hit you know, the very um, tiny areas that a big brush cannot get to. I'm also putting that highlight shade on the forehead, chin, and bridge of the nose to get, you know, a very chiseled nose. And I'm just going to blend that with the Nuban Beauty Blender. So I'm contouring with the Ben Nye Mojave Contour Wheel and I'm using the red shade first or the brownish red shade and I'm going to add this very dark shade to it as well. This is just going to give a nice dark and kind of warm look to the face. I'll be setting the highlight areas with the Fed 9 banana powder. Next, I'm 
next i'll be contouring the face with the black radiance contour palette i'm almost at the bottom of the contour sheet this is my favorite contour powder right now i love how warm it is it's not that dark dark but it's really warm and it just gives you that warm bronzed up feel you know all over your face so to blend everything together and to set the whole of my face i'm going to use the zara and face powder and just blend everything together if you use the powder after you do all the setting you'll see that the contour will blend better into the highlight the highlights will blend better into the contour and then when you use a setting spray everything will just sink into your skin so i did my brows off camera and i'm just going to draw the wing that i did not do earlier and i'm just going to draw in my wing Next, I'll use the LA Girl Gel Liner to smoke out my lower lid. Also, be adding the transition colors I used on the upper lid. Then, I'm just using a very light orange shade to kind of pop the inner corner of the eye. Next, I'm going in with this orange shade for blush. This will just warm up the skin even further. And to bring some glow back to the skin, I'm using this Hagen um, Esther Flash Man. And I'm just layering the four colors. I usually use all the colors from that highlighter. So I'm just layering it on. This would give your highlighter more depth and more glow as opposed to just packing on in one shade and calling it a day. Put the highlights on my brow bone as well for some pop, pop, pop. also on my cupid bow and also on those two lines above your cupid bow to kind of define them and i'm just going to do um an inner wing this for me is 50 50 is either i fail at it or i succeed at it it's really tough to be doing this at least for me Next to line the lips, I'll be going in with the NYX Lip Liner in orange. And I'm just lining really, really softly. Orange is a shade that could turn crazy. And I'm using this MAC lipstick from Morange. Morange is also a shade that if you're not careful, it turn out to look crazy. So you see, I'm not applying them all over. I'm just tapping that onto the lips. And to soften it up, I'm using a Pibuna Lip Gloss in Skinny Dip make it look a bit more fresh and this completes the tutorial guys very easy i'll show you very very easy very simple very quick as well so if you liked this tutorial kindly let me know please thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed to my channel so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye I'm a jawole, say we get to bed, so no delay, no delay. By the end of the night.